International Friendlies San Marino vs. St. Kitts and Nevis Prediction, Team News, Lineups Preview. After squaring off on Wednesday, San Marino and St. Kitts and Nevis will do battle in the second of a pair of friendlies in Saravalle on Sunday. The visitors came from behind to prevail in the first meeting at the San Marino Stadium, extending the hosts' 20-year wait for a second win in their history. Match Preview San Marino returned to action in Saravalle on Sunday with the aim of avenging a defeat to St. Kitts and Nevis and ending a 12-match losing and a historic wait for a victory. Indeed, April marks the 20-year anniversary of their only ever victory thus far, a friendly triumph over Liechtenstein, while they last avoided defeat in a 1-1 friendly draw with St. Lucia in November 2022. After that, La Serenissima endured a tough Euro 2024 qualifying campaign last year, failing to pick up a point from their 10 matches, although they were able to finish with valiant efforts in narrow 2-1 defeats to Denmark and Finland in the final three matches. Aiming to finally end their dismal run on their return to action under the new management of Roberto Sevilli after Fabrizio Costantini's December departure, they welcomed St. Kitts and Nevis to Saravalle for the first of a pair of friendlies on Wednesday and enjoyed a perfect start. Going ahead inside 25 minutes through a Filippo Berardi penalty, only for their visitors to quickly draw level and take control with further goals either side of the interval. With Sunday's repeat fixture being their final chance to stop the winless run reaching 20 years, San Marino will be desperate to return the favor and hand their visitors a defeat before returning to action in June and entering the UEFA Nations League later this year. Their visitors, meanwhile, will bid to make it back-to-back -back wins in their European trip after ending their own tough run with a return to winning ways on Wednesday. After a CONCACAF Gold Cup group stage exit in August, St. Kitts and Nevis traveled to Saravalle for the pair of friendlies on the back of a tough CONCACAF Nations League campaign late last year, suffering relegation from their League B group having only managed four points from their six games. Their solitary win in that run came away at St. Martin, thanks to Tickany Williams's hat-trick, but they would lose the reverse fixture before suffering a 5-0 thrashing at the hands of Guadeloupe in the final round of fixtures. Seeking to return to winning ways at the San Marino Stadium, Austin Huggins's team succeeded in bouncing back in the first meeting and their first game of 2024 on Wednesday, despite going a goal down early on. As Taekwon Terrell quickly leveled the scores before Andre Burley put them ahead on the stroke of the interval and Harry Panetta doubled the lead early in the second half. St. Kitts and Nevis will now aim to build on that triumph and hand another defeat to their hosts to keep building confidence before heading into CONCACAF World Cup qualifiers in June. Team News Roberto Sevilli should deploy a similar San Marino starting 11 to the one that featured against St. Kitts and Nevis on Wednesday, with Filippo Berardi bound to again lead the line having netted his third international goal to put them ahead. Captain and veteran Matteo Vitaioli may come in to join him from the outset after Nicola Nani was preferred last time out, while Alessandro Galinuxi and Lorenzo Capiccioni remain key figures in the midfield. In front of stopper Eduardo Colombo, Filippo Fabri, Marco Pasolini and Michel Sevilli should continue in a back five. Similarly to their hosts, Austin Huggins is unlikely to make many changes to his St. Kitts and Nevis team on Sunday. Having lined the Sugar Boys up in a 4 3 3 shape in Wednesday's game. The line will again be led by starman Harry Paneatu, who netted his 12th goal in his 35th international cap on Wednesday. With Tyrese Shade and Omari Sterling James likely continuing to offer support on the wings. Cardiff City's Romain Sawyers was absent for the first meeting, meaning Taekwon Terrell. Raheem Summersall and Mervyn Lewis could continue in the center while Andre Burley remains a key man in the back line and netted his first Sugar Boys goal last time out. San Marino possible starting lineup. Colombo, Diderio, Fabri, Pasolini, Sevilli, Tosi, Agalinuxi, Capiccioni, Igalinuxi, Berardi, Vitaeli. St. Kitts and Nevis possible starting lineup. Archibald, Roberts. Freeman, Burley, Hanley, Summersall, Lewis, Terrell, Sterling James, Paneatu, Shade. We say, San Marino 1-3 St. Kitts and Nevis.
San Marino did show signs of encouragement on Wednesday and will hope to turn positives into an elusive victory. But the visitors certainly have more quality and should make it back-to-back -back wins in Saravalle. Thanks for your watching. Don't forget to click the subscribed button and hit the bell icon for more.